Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the third day of spring with Ellie and Douglas in Stardew Valley weather report. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. You hear you, fortune teller? Spirits are very happy. Let's just shower everyone with good fortune. Queen of Sauce. Greetings is I, the Queen of Sauce. Chocolate cake. We know chocolate cake. Now, there was a rumor that there are some recipes you can only get through reruns. Thus, proving me correct <laughs> that I knew I had gotten some recipes that way. So, uh, I was not crazy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was like, why am I not filling my watering can? Okay, there we go. Because it wasn't in your hand, diggling. Turn around, Goober. And we left our poor chickens and cows out again last night. Oh, poor jerks. They're gonna hate me. And as the third day of spring, we should probably collect our fruit. We haven't done that yet. Thank you. Thank you for the fruit. So that was a cutscene with Sebastian that we missed uh, because it hadn't rained. Hello chickens. Brown chicken. Pet. White cow. Brown cow. Move. Cow. Chicken. 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 We didn't get the eggs yesterday, did we? We did not. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. But yes, because we didn't have the cutscene, um, I'm wondering if we're going to get the cutscene tomorrow when it rains. Uh, okay, Douglas, why did you turn around when you started milking? Now it's just weird. Here we go. And now we should put. We should have kept that large milk. You down, you big tree now. Oh, dang it. A lot of people fast forward and cut through this, but I mean, honestly, it's just like, well, it's part of it, and you know, it's like, heck, they they do a better job at talking and stuff like that than I do, so it's just kind of like you could talk, <laughs> you know, instead of just fast forwarding through it. I mean, that's part of this game, you know. This part is part of this game. Hey, Loki. Yeah, there was silver eggs in there. <clears throat> I did take. <laughs> I was like, I thought I had a tree seed in there. Okay. <laughs> that apricot was 
were really weird on his head. Okay. Milk. Alright. We're done for the day. That's amazing. Okay. Let's go to town. There's a thing there. Let me go down to uh, the beach. Um, an apricot and a cherry. We need to get some bees. We can definitely do that. Flowers are starting to bloom. Uh, oops. Those pink ones smell so good. The, pink ones. the ones with the petals that are blowing all over the place. Casper, me, thank you. Sure. Hey, Harvey. It's nice to have a friend in town. Aww. Aww. You like daffodils? That's such a nice gift. Thank you. He does like daffodils. I don't think Sebastian likes daffodils. We're not gonna try it. We know what Sebastian likes. And Douglas will apply <laughs> the shishimi. Evelyn, I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies sunning themselves in the town garden yesterday. Oh my, it looks wonderful. How very kind of you. You're welcome. That popping, snapping, crackling. That was my wrist again. <laughs> I will take this. There you go. Hey, Linus. I spend a lot of time thinking. If you can fully understand the reasons behind your thoughts, you'll have reached a new level of being. It's very true. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work at Harvey's clinic. He says he likes having me around in case of the medical. His medical equipment goes haywire. Thanks. No problem, man. Bye. Is your brother home? Hey, Robin. Hey there, Douglas. I just daydream about some new carpentry project. Are you doing okay in your place? How's the woodwork at your cottage home? Yep. Just fine, Robin. Is your son home? Birch, birch, birch. Artist bookcase. Patchwork rug. Gold is you for. <laughs> hey Douglas, how are you doing today? Wish I could make your farming job easier somehow. That would be nice. I'm just thinking, this would look really nice in our kids' room, right? Planning for the future. Hey, baby. It's gonna rain tomorrow. You know what that means? Um, you're single, right? Uh, uh, just wondering. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a bit. I thought you were my boyfriend. It's <laughs> a weird question. I really love this. How did you know? Boyfriend. 
I'm not saying no. <laughs> Bye, baby. See you later. Okay. And we're off. And down to the beach we go, just like you said we would. Hey, Elliot! Forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Um, uh, uh. I've got a leak. Hmm, I'm not a huge fan. Damn it. I'm pretty sure he does some leak damage. Damn it. That's the reason why I gave him that. Well, we tried. New. If I would have thought we were going foraging today, I probably would have got foraging stuff. I need to sell this to Lily and buy some bait. Thank you. Are you kidding me right now? I can tell. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was only like five, uh, five gold a piece. I don't know how we missed these other ones. I wish she's dead. Kind of some indication that they were doing something. Yeah, we definitely should have got a foraging. Thingy today. Oh well. back anyway. Maybe we can find something. Because we only got about half the town. Bye, Elliot. Sorry I didn't like the leak. <laughs> Elliot's not hard, but at the same time, he's not easy to get there. Oh, hi, Douglas. Taking a break from your work. Me too. Uh, nothing physical. Just taking some online classes. Just some online classes I'm taking. Yeah. We'll be back, Mr. Dandelion. Okay. Toss. No. Toss. There we go. Forge, forge. <laughs> Not you. You, 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 you. Okay. You. Um. Foraging. I know I saw something. There you go. Pancakes. That'll do. Up while we're down here. Hang on. Get out of the way. <laughs> These here. Okay. 
happened to my stuff? What did it? Did I sort my inventory or something at some point? Because I noticed it was messed up, but I was just like, I thought it was just the one thing, so it wasn't a big deal. But then I saw my pickaxe was not in the proper slot. I have my axe in the first slot because in Minecraft, <laughs> the first tool you usually make is an axe. So you can. Well, that's the first tool I make. The first tool I make is an axe. So I can get wood. So I can make tools. And then, um. The next is. The, put the pickaxe in the three. Because three is more of my lucky number. Four next to the three. Shovel next to that. So that they're next to the pickaxe when you're mining. A lot of people put this sword in the first one, but not me. Besides, if we're talking Douglas here, he uses an axe anyway. Which I wanted to record those um, this month, but we've had regionals and. Um, It's just, uh, the kids are done now. They did, <laughs> every time I go to talk about something like that, it's just, cutscene. Hey, Abby. Why is she giggling? I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour <laughs> with a sword. That's strange. I've seen this before. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. It's like in the middle of town, though. I hang out on my farm, man. But I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordsmanship. It goes, <laughs> Hey, what do you think? I'm too weak to swing a blade? No, hell no. His real BFF is kick ass. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unharmed. Unarmed. You've used a sword before, haven't you? Yes, and it's exciting. Yes, but only in self-defense. Yes, but it's dangerous. You should stay safe. He's not a liar. <laughs> See? You understand why I'm out here then. <laughs> he does. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Abigail! <laughs> Dad? Glad Douglas is the only one, isn't the only one hiding in trees. I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. What are you doing in the graveyard anyway? This is no place for a young lady. Grr. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? I'm really stuck in the past, Dad. Ah! Let's get out of here, Douglas. Uh, okay. Well, are you coming or not? Yeah, let's go, man. Later. Come back. No way. We're out of here. Okay, my dad won't find us here. Where are we? <laughs> Sorry, can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off sometimes, okay? Where are we? Well, thanks for hearing me out, Douglas. Um, now could you help untangle my hair from this bush? <laughs> Apparently we're hiding in bushes, too. No problem, man. Hey, Kent. You've been here a while now, haven't you? Your farm must be thriving. See, now, if we, me and Abby can move past this whole we want the same dude thing, you know, then we can be friends. 
But if she can't, then well. <laughs> I mean, I just don't know what to say if she can't. All right. Well, we did some foraging. A lot of bunnies today. I had bunnies. Uh, no, uh, regionals. That's what I was talking about. Hey, Shane. Uh, Sorry, every day is the same. Stocking those horrible shells, going to the saloon, tossing and turning all night. I'm so sorry, Shane. You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass. Or you can buy it for me, of course, of course. I could use the cash. Adios. Yeah, I remember that scene with Shane <laughs> afterwards. Like, you know, I had seen that before. It's getting late. Um, just I don't remember, like, sometimes, I, especially in video games and stuff like that. It's, I remember a lot, especially if it's like a story. Um, kind of linear story, but it was kind of random cutscenes, like not expecting. Doesn't necessarily get caught to memory just because. It's kind of a little bit all over the place, you know what I mean? You weren't expecting the cutscene in the middle of all your farming or whatever, you know. So I guess that's the only explanation I got on that. But and she was totally focused on it, uh, Elliot. Anyway, so <laughs> okay, bedtime. We need to get some lights up in this joint. Okay, use. Two eggs, sixty-two gold for silver eggs. Ooh. And we had, I mean, even without the thing, we had decent forage, so that's not too bad. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of the third day of spring. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.